Hi, my name is Dan, and we are here at the head of the Tom River, located on the southeast coast of New Jersey, to discuss a major problem facing the Barnegat Bay ecosystem, jellyfish. Since the year 2000, the Barnegat Bay has seen a dramatic increase in the population of the local species of jellyfish, the sea nettle, and we believe this change is due to the large amounts of fertilizer being washed into the bay. This thing in jellyfish's life cycle seems to be affected by the additions of fertilizer, and the Tom's River Poseidon Academy is here to find a possible solution for this problem. Seen here is the sea nettle, a species of jellyfish that is causing problems in the Barnegat Bay. The sea nettle has between 8 and 24 stinging tentacles growing up to 5 feet in length. Each tentacle is armed with stinging cells called nematocysts. When the tentacles come into contact with an organism, a venomous barber is released into the unlucky victim, stunning smaller organisms and leaving larger ones with a painful sting. The sea nettle filters out algae and plankton using its large tentacles. After being captured, the food is moved into the head or bell of the jellyfish where it is digested. The bell of the jelly can grow up to 10 inches in diameter. Hi, we are standing here today in the Toms River, a major recreational area of the Barnegat Bay. The current temperature is 6.8 degrees Celsius, and as you can see, there are no sea nettles in the water. However, if I was standing here four months ago, this would be a very painful experience. My legs would most likely be covered in stinging tentacles. Throughout the summer months, this area is usually filled with families looking to take part in local water activities. But in recent years, these numbers have declined because the waters have been filled with sea nettles. In return, the local economy has suffered during the summer months. Starting in 1990, a major population boom was sparked in the Toms River area because of its close proximity to New York City. Residents begin to fertilize their lawns heavily starting in the early spring, which also happens to be the beginning of the sea nettles life cycle. After raining, a large portion of the fertilizers are washed down storm games as well as soaked into the soil. This all eventually makes its way into the Barnegat Bay because of Barnegat Bay's extremely large watershed. A watershed is a region that drains into a river, bay, or other large body of water. Barnegat Bay's watershed covers almost 43 miles of coastline, extending inland in some areas as much as 20 miles. The main tributary to the Barnegat Bay is the Tom River, where a large majority of the population resides. Most of the fertilizers used end up flowing into the bay. In episode one, we saw a brief overview of the Barnegat Bay and the sea nettle problem. In episodes two and three, we'll see a more in-depth look at the cause and effects of fertilizers.